Well, what can I say? It's an absolutely stunning day with clear skies forecasted for tonight. So you know what that means, some astrophotography. And right now, what you can see on the table here is the Astro setup for tonight. My twin rasters with my Eagle computer, CGXL mount, William Optics uh, guide scope, QHY camera for the guide scope there, twin QHY 294 mono cameras, uh, my filters, uh, cable holder, diffraction spikes. So we've got a bit of gear to set up, so we best get cracking. Well guys, we are all set up and uh, it's just about ready for tonight's imaging session. Uh, there are a couple of things that I do need to, um, to finish doing with this setup and that's uh, printing the other um, dew, dew mask for Rasa 2. Uh, the, first, the one that's on there at the moment is a bit of a, a trial um, period which evolved to um, this one here being slightly bigger and uh, being able to accommodate a larger um, crosshair uh, section so uh, that's something I need to work on is um, doing the new one um, for this one uh, right here but other than that I think we're uh, all pretty much just about ready to uh, start imaging of course we've got to wait for it to get a bit darker I also will be using my uh, flat panel that I've made um, recently you might have seen a video on that I've also since then installed a dimming switch on the back of it as well so we're going to uh, test that out a little bit but um, this is the uh, uh, the flat I got earlier um, today which kind of looks pretty good as a bit of a test run with it so um, the whole idea with this system is to uh, be able to switch filters in and out not a problem at all which I can do with the FCC uh, 2 beta FCC 2 tilt and filter changer and then when I uh, need to shoot a uh, flat frame for that filter I can then just pop that straight over the top, turn it on, shoot my flat frames, take it off and we're, we're good to go. So we're really starting to build a uh, all-in-one sort of unit system for the RASA uh, so that way I don't really have to start taking things on and off all the time. It will be permanently sort of not set up because uh, I still need to uh, build an observatory and that won't be happening for quite some time. I've recently bought a block of land and I'm going through the stages of building a house for it too. So. Uh, yeah, that's under some slightly dark skies. So we're just about there with our, you know, all-in-one sort of modular system. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you've probably seen the evolution of my 3D printed parts for it. So uh, yeah, pretty excited about uh, about tonight's imaging session. Now, what we're going to be imaging tonight? I'm stuck in two minds. I'm even though this is probably another well, the second night of using the monos. Uh, it'd be nice to get a shot of something I've already shot in the past. Um, and it'd be nice to check the difference out between those two images of the RGB and then of the uh, full mono um, and compare. So I'm debating whether or not to go for um, the Dark Doodad, the, uh, the Dragons, uh, nebula now with the dragons because I won't be shooting any HA I've already shot HA of that before in the past so I can probably use that HA data uh, integrate it with this um, data here and see what we come up with uh, yeah so I'm gonna think a little bit more about that as it uh, as the Sun starts to continue well continue um, setting and it gets a bit darker uh, but uh, yeah it's a beautiful night for some astrophotography here in South Australia, and I'm a little bit excited. Can't wait.
all polar aligned, ready to go uh, start our imaging session tonight. The only thing I will have to do is rotate the cameras. I have a red uh, filter in RASA 2 and a blue filter in RASA 1. It is going to get real dewy tonight really quickly. Uh, according to the echo on the Primaloose Lab computer, um, dew point is around about 5 degrees and we're currently at about 7 degrees. And I can already start to see a little bit of dew starting to form on the, uh, the table behind me. Now, I am charging up my secondary battery to help out this uh, main battery here because uh, that battery is starting to um, deteriorate over its time. I've had it for about seven years now, believe it or not, and it's still kicking, but it's probably definitely not where it should be. Uh, so I needed to start looking into an alternative power source for this system. But uh, hopefully tonight we can get through our imaging session. And on our imaging session tonight, we are going to be imaging the Lagoon Nebula. Now, Old Faithful, call it what you will. But Lagoon is a, is a big fan favourite of mine and many people, especially if we can get the Triffid in there as well. Should be able to, I'll frame it up so we can try and uh, achieve that. Now, not only are we going for a... Um, uh, a twin mono image on the uh, on the lagoon. I don't know exactly how much time I'm going to be able to capture purely because of that battery side of things. When I'm kicking in the uh, the dew heater rings here, it's going to draw that little bit of extra power. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit touch and go tonight. A bit of a, a bit of drama going on, I think already. Anyway, um, the other plan is to uh, take the te technical abilities up just a little bit higher if I can. And, uh, and this is something I want to try and do uh, moving forward when I start to uh, really go hammer and tong generating a lot of data for particular targets. And one of the things I love about my astro images and, and seeing other astro images is the star colour. Star colour to me is just absolutely stunning, especially when you get those nice oranges and blues and, and all that throughout the image as well, not just um, oversaturated, almost white sort of stars. So what we're going to do is we're going to image at um, 11 megapixels. That is the uh, 294, uh, QH Warrior 294. So we're going to image at uh, 11 megapixels to expand the full width capacity, of a uh, full well capacity. Um, I think it's about 60, uh, 63K, I think. Don't quote me on that. I think it might be about 63K full well. Uh, and what we're going to try and do is we're going to shoot some shorter exposures, uh, maybe... I don't know, don't know yet, I haven't quite worked that out. I'll report back to you a bit later. Um, but we're going to shoot some real short exposures purely just for the stars. And the whole idea is to stack those images there and then we're going to um, uh, have our star, our star set. And then we're going to go on and we're going to shoot the rest of the image, uh, which is going to be a lot longer exposures, probably somewhere around about the 90 second mark. Um, we'll see. But uh, yeah. Bit of a, a bit going on tonight. Let's hope we can get it all done. Well guys, it uh, comes towards the end of this uh, imaging session. Really hope this image turns out uh, well. I did have some guiding issues towards the end of the night, as well as some uh, power problems. Um, the batteries on these real cold nights just uh, cannot hold charge, um, especially with the amount of gear I've run to off of them. Uh, my secondary battery is absolutely dead. It didn't even charge. So uh, it's a 120 amp hour um, AGM battery car battery and that is just absolutely kaput. My uh, old Thumper um, 80 amp hour battery that's seven years old is still going and it's struggling so I will have to look at the power, um, upgrade my power a bit later on down the track or hopefully before the next uh, next imaging session anyway. Well like I said fingers crossed this image goes together I've got enough data 
Um, I'm having a lot of fun imaging as mono these days instead of the uh, one shot color. Although there are some areas where I do miss the old one shot color just purely for simplicity. But um, we'll see how this image goes. Uh, shooting some uh, you know, shorter um, subs for stars in star color and then the longer subs for all the more details, um, fainter details out there. Uh, hopefully that we've captured. Anyway, I'm rambling because I'm tired and it's cold. So, like always, please give me a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. If you've got a comment, leave it down below. And if you're new to this channel and this is the first video you've seen, please check out some of my others and maybe uh, hit that subscribe button. I'd also like to thank everybody that uh, watches these videos, supports, and uh, it encourages me to uh, keep going and enjoy seeing the, uh, the adventures of the twins. Alright guys, that's it for me. So until next time, take it easy. Please.